using multi-factor authentication, or MFA, in your workplace? MFA is a security measure that protects your organization by requiring two or more sources of validation before granting access to applications, typically by utilizing your phone. If you are wondering why most companies are implementing MFA, it's because it's successful at preventing 99.9% .9 of cyber attacks. This is made possible by requiring a six digit, usually numerical code, in addition to login credentials, such as username and password. The code comes from either an app, push notification, or text message on your phone. And since most people carry a mobile device, this method is incredibly effective and easily accessible. MFA works so well, it has already been heavily adopted within the technology industry, being used by large social media and emailing platforms. And MFA is gaining popularity in security-minded industries, such as banking, healthcare, public services, extending from law firms to local governments, and many other cyber smart enterprises. To explain how MFA works, we need to look at the three ways that verification codes are generated. Authentication apps are the most trusted verification tool. It works by downloading an app on your phone that works just like a clock, generating special six digit codes every 30 seconds for each account stored within the app in combination with a secret key created by the company or website that you wish to log into. The company usually provides the key via QR code that you scan with your phone to set up the account within your app. However, there is no actual connection between the app, your phone, the company or website, or your account credentials. This provides MFA protection without any privacy concerns, making it completely safe to use for both personal and professional accounts. The second option for MFA code generation, push authentication, comes as an extension of authentication apps and is often referred to as push MFA. It's a convenient option where the app sends a notification to your phone instead of prompting you to enter the verification code. Users simply have to click the notification as it pops up on their phone and the code is automatically signaled to initiate login. While extremely user friendly, Push MFA does require a connection between the website or company you are attempting to log into and your phone. If sharing that information is a privacy concern, manually entering the code is still an option. If you wish to avoid downloading apps or enabling permissions altogether, you can utilize text or SMS MFA. In place of using an app to generate codes, the company or website sends a text message to your phone with a one-time use code each time you log in. Text or SMS is a great option for people without access to a smart device that allows for app downloads, but it does come with some risk since your phone number does have to be linked to the account and cyber criminals can track texting activity for targeted individuals. In summary, MFA is an incredibly effective tool that can prevent your organization from cyber attacks, and it should be used by all team members and for any application used within your business, even if using your personal phone seems like an odd request. For more information about multi-factor authentication or other technology concerns, you can find your trusted technology coach at www.pcatechsolutions.com.